one point I, I made in my column in the Daily News uh, today on, on Chavez is that to the degree that he was seen by the United States and, and Europe as the most radical of Latin American leaders, he created space for an enormous diversity of other <laughs> left-oriented leaders that seemed almost more acceptable <laughs> to the West, uh, uh, up against the, the figure, the lightning rod figure of Chavez. Yeah, for a long time, when Washington policymakers and opinion makers were trying to create this, uh, this idea that there were two lefts, a good left and a bad left in Latin America, a vegetarian left and a carnivore left. <laughs> And, and the, the kind of emblematic leaders of that was Lula in, in Brazil, a reformist, he, you know, administered within the institutions of law, and Chavez, or, you know, fiery populist is a, a word, a description that I'm sure has been used kind of like Mad Libs and, you know, in, 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 in obituaries of, of, of Chavez. But in reality, they actually work together very, very nicely. I mean, if you read the WikiLeaks cables, it was no—the U.S. was constantly trying to push this notion of a, of, of a division or a divide between Brazil and Venezuela, and Brazil constantly rebuffed it. And, and certainly, Chavez's more flamboyant style on the world stage created a, a much more uh, willingness to work with so-called more moderate reformers like Lula. And uh, I would argue that their differences had more to do with the political structures that they inherited than anything. And I, I think they both, in very, in, in, in very real ways, had, had exactly the same goal.